So here I am back with another princess telephone. This one's a DTMF, or touch tone version of the princess phone. So it basically has the keypad instead of the dial. But anyway, this example's from 1977. It's in really good condition, as you can see. And being a slightly later model, it has the modular type handset cord. And it's actually quite long. It's probably about 12 foot that. It also has the modular type line card as well. So as you can see, it has the original number card. It says area code 216-243-9913. So I did look that number up online and 216 is a Cleveland, Ohio area code. So here's the handset. It's a, a Western Electric 500 type handset. So there's the receiver and there's the transmitter. And I did replace the transmitter for an electronic type because it does give better speech quality than the original carbon style. So in the centre of the handset there you can see it says Bell System Property, not for sale, Western Electric. And it has the clear plungers as you can see. And it also has the translucent buttons because of course the Princess phone has the famous backlit dial, or in this case keypad. So I'll show you around to the back. As you can see it has a little switch at the bottom there. So when you switch it over to that position that activates the night light feature. So basically the light will shine very dimly across these numbers. So it'll give you a little bit of light in a pitch black room on your little nightstand because of course originally the princess phones were designed for bedrooms as an extension phone. That's why they had the dial light. So here's the base. It's model 2702BM. The M stands for modular and it was made in 1977 as you can see. So it says the Princess Phone, Western Electric, Bell System Property Not For Sale, Property of Ohio Bell Not For Sale, and there's the loud and soft adjustment for the ringer. And you can take a coin to that and give it a quarter twist and that releases the light assembly. So you can actually replace the light bulb without having to take the casing off, so that was a cool feature. And it has its original rubber base. So I think that's all there is to say on it really. So I will show you the um, backlit dial in the dark. Um, in a, a bit later on. So I'll show you it dialing out. So there's a dial tone. The numbers have quite a nice sound to them as well, the buttons. Okay, so I'll ring it for you now and you'll be able to hear this really nice princess ringer. It's just a single gong but it has a nice tone to it. So there you go. So I'll quickly turn the lights off and I'll show you the and keypad lit up in the dark. So it's just in the regular setting at the moment, so when you lift the handset, as you can see, the keypad lights up and it's not actually doing it justice, the camera. It is a lot brighter than it's showing on camera, but anyway, you can see the alphanumeric keypad there. Very typical to have an alphanumeric um, setup in America. But you can see the um, left plunger there lit up. That's to help you guide the handset back to the cradle um, when you've finished your phone call. It would help if I was actually looking at the phone and not my viewfinder. <laughs> but anyway, I'll call this number and it'll be busy just to give you a demo of it dialing out in the dark. And it'll be busy. So there you go, so I hang up and when the handset's on hook, you can switch it to the night light setting which will give you a dim lit um, light, which the camera isn't actually picking it up at all, but I can see it, it's very dim, but never mind. So anyway, there you go, just pop the lights back on here. And these princess phones had an incandescent bulb which sat just here underneath the dial, or the keypad in this case, and that was powered by a separate power transformer. So it was a little six volt transformer, one like I have here. It's an aftermarket one that, but Western Electric did make original ones. So basically, 
the transformer goes to a splitter there as you can see and the line cord goes into the splitter and this is a four conductor line cord which means it has four wires in it so two of the wires from the um, line cord go to power the bulb and the other two wires power the line for the phone so it basically just joins them together so only the power from the transformer goes to the light bulb it doesn't interfere with the phone line but basically that's how it works so they're still readily available the transformers the original and aftermarket ones on ebay and other sites if you wanted to make your princess phone light up but anyway there's a nice little demo of this lovely 1977 princess touchtone telephone so thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.